Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another weekly tip video. A few weeks ago, back in show 1335, I covered the Arc browser for Mac OS. As promised, I said I would also cover another app from the browser company, and that's the new Arc Search for iOS. So let's take a look. So this is Arc Search in the App Store, and we're currently at version 1.0.5 at the time of recording. Now, the developers are moving very quickly to update the app, so I have no doubt it will have been updated further by the time you see this. Now, Arc Search is definitely not an iOS version of the Arc browser. In fact, it's more of a search tool rather than a traditional browser. Let's go ahead and download it to my iPhone. And we'll go ahead and open Arc Search. OK, there's a short onboarding process now, and you can rerun the onboarding process from the settings screen later on if you want to. But let's just go ahead. I'll tap on Let's Go. And I can use this as my default browser if I want to. And it uses a thing called Browse for Me, which basically will go ahead and pull together lots of different web pages and create sort of like mini websites for you when you do your search. Or you can use it as a traditional browser. I'm not going to set it as my default browser for now. I can come back and do that later if I want to. I'm going to go ahead and say skip. And uh, they are quite insistent that you should use it as your default browser, but I would suggest that you get used to it first uh, before you do that. Uh, some of the features it mentions here, browse for me, I've just mentioned. There's an always on ad blocker, and also there's a feature to auto archive your tabs as well. But again, seriously, I will skip the default browser setting for now. And we're into a search panel. So let's start off by doing uh, a random search. Let's uh, search for the, the history of Liverpool, say. Well, let's come up with history Liverpool for me already. I can do one of two things at this point in the standard configuration. I can actually tap on the link where it says history Liverpool, or I can tap go down at the bottom. If I just tap here, you'll see what happens as it goes away. Uh, it's got Google set up as the default search engine. But if I just go down, we'll get rid of this uh, opening screen. I will accept all the cookies. So we've got a standard Google search results pane here. I can go ahead and scroll up and down. Uh, there's a Wikipedia option at the top. Uh, more Wikipedia information, people always search for. And then various different websites that if I want to, I can tab in and read more about the history of Liverpool. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.